ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Football Manager 2019 with Zebu Nation. We are back again. FC Cincinnati getting down to the very, very end of the 2019 MLS regular season. Making our way in the playoffs. You saw last episode we clinched the playoffs. Now it's just a matter of positioning. As you can see here, DC United and New England have joined Cincinnati and Atlanta United as qualifying for the playoffs. Now it's just a matter of who's going to get that coveted second position and make it into the next round automatically and get to avoid the wild card round. And this week's game is very important to that end because it is FC Cincinnati versus New England Revolution. As you can see here, we are two points behind New England. So this is a must-win game for us. Let's take a look at the schedule here. Scroll down to the bottom. Three games left to go, including today's game. So it is uh, very, very important to get this game. If we don't, it's going to come down to like blind luck to get that second position. New England is going to have to drop their last two, and we're going to have to win the last two. And even then, it'll be pretty close. I haven't worked out the math, but it shouldn't be that complicated. Anyway, the last game you saw was the 2-1 victory over Montreal following the 3-3 draw against Philadelphia, where I nearly lost my mind. So 2-1 against Montreal. We made that change. We put Hudson in at goal. And he played very well. The team played well. We made some philosophical changes, and that really worked out for the better. We went to a more possession style. We retained the attacking mentality, but went to a more possession style. Hudson in goal. Then some interesting things happened. Hudson gets called up to the under-23s to uh, try and get the USA to qualify for the Olympic Games. And I thought, you know what, that's pretty important. Hudson, he's earned that call up. And helping out, I always try to help out the national team. You know, whether I'm playing in Canada, whether I'm playing in the United States, I try to develop homegrown talent so that I can help feed those, uh, those national teams. So I'm, I'm happy to do that. But Zach Steffen came in. And you know, I don't know if Hudson lit a fire under him or what, but he came in and had a good game. 2-1 to one versus San Jose. We played pretty well. We got down early, right? Yeah, Martin Rivero with a 43-minute goal, of course, right before half. But then we came back, tied it up with Crispum, and then Kiri Shelton gets another goal. Kiri Shelton's been playing very well the last few Games got another man of the match with another goal, 8.3 ratings, playing very well. Our defense, maybe not so much. We had to make some substitutions there to get rid of some folks. Marquez, as you can see, with a 6.0 rating, didn't do very good. So we moved Romney down and um, brought in Nuhu. Nuhu played okay, played well enough. Juarez got in the game. Had a 6.8 rating, replacing Miller with a 6.3. So our subs came in. Held it down defensively. We got the 2-1 victory against San Jose. But as you know, the soccer gods, especially the FM-related soccer gods, they love to play with your emotions. They are a fickle and frivolous bunch. And so we, of course, have some issues. Got some very, very interesting issues, if I may say so. So, Medical Center... Got some guys coming back. Alashe is coming back. Kim is coming back, but he's on a season-ending injury list, so no good. Clute is out. He got injured. That's why Juarez got some playing time. He's out for four weeks. Probably not going to see him again this year. Marky Delgado, he pulled the double. He got suspended and injured in the same game. How do you do that? Well, lots of yellow cards. That's how you do that. Um... So, yeah, he got his sixth yellow card or whatever, his 12th yellow card. I don't even know how many yellow cards the guy's got. He's got a ton of yellow cards. Like everybody on our team, he's got a ton of yellow cards. But he got that 
yellow card that put him over the limit, but he didn't get two in the same game, so he didn't exactly get suspended that game. So he gets injured that game. The league gives him a, gives him a suspension. He's out two to five weeks. And then Kiri Shelton gets injured. He got injured actually in training after the game. If that wasn't bad enough, so we're missing, you know, midfielder, missing reserve, right back, missing our striker who'd come in and has played very well, you know, been very instrumental to this late season run. And if that wasn't enough, let's take a look at the squad. Let's take a look at players on international duty. Zach Steffen gets called up to the USA squad, to the main squad. And when he got called up, I thought, well, you know, we're not going to we're not going to do that. We're not going to allow him to get called up. But when I looked at the schedule, I saw Hudson was going to get back before Stefan was going to leave. So I thought, okay, we'll let Stefan go out. And that way, you know, he can maintain some fitness out playing for Team USA while we have Hudson in goal. But then what happens here is uh, the under-23s make a run in the Olympic qualifying. And they get all the way to the semifinals. They lose on penalties where Hudson is in goal for Team USA. They lose in penalties in overtime to Mexico. But now Hudson's not going to be back in time for today's game. So let's get to the match preview versus New England. This is for second place in the Eastern Conference. This is a huge, huge game. 1930 kickoff at Gillette Stadium, Foxborough, Massachusetts. This is disappointing. Okay, let's read these numbers. 13,176 tickets sold out of 66,829 capacity. That's terrible. That is like 10 years ago MLS numbers. That's no, there's no way today's, I mean, not at this stage in the season. Maybe an early season game. But playoffs are on the line here in New England, and they're selling 13,000 tickets. Come on. So the stadium's going to be empty. It's 73 and breezy in October, so it's a little, uh, little warm out there, but that's fine. And we've got uh, Jonas Maracci at uh, referee here. This isn't good. Average of 5.3 yellow cards per match. Um... So we're going to get yellow carded into oblivion during this game. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see what happens. New England's in excellent form right now. They haven't lost in their last five games. We're getting up there. We've only lost one in our last five games. But they are the favorites. Let's see. Three players on international duty for New England as well. We can take a look at New England real quick. Juan Aguadelo is on... Uh, Leave, so that's good. Get him out of there. Antonio Dalamia, central defender. Get out of here. Diego Fagundes is injured. Bunbury's still there. Who else? Uh, Gabriel Somi, Zachary Haravo for Haiti. Yeah. All right. He's probably not a starter, but that's fine. Reduce their depth a little bit. Looks like New England has most of their team available. <laughs> So it shouldn't, uh, it shouldn't hamper them too much. Certainly not as much as us missing both of our starting goalkeepers. But let's get to team selection here. We're going to still continue with what we're doing. Though we're going to try and slow things down. Control the ball more. Dominate the game so that they don't get too many shots on. Who? Brent Bennett. Snedden. I don't even know the guy's name. That's how long it's been since he's played. Bennett Snedden is our goalkeeper. 22 years old. Two-star player. Three-star potential. 12 reflexes. 13 aerial reach. Mm, you know, jump, 13 jumping reach. He's not really what we're looking for as a starting goalkeeper, but we're going to see if he can summon something up. Summon up, you know, the game of his life even though he's only got 49 percent match sharpness so i'm just hoping honestly he doesn't have too many own goals today um that would be helpful but other than brent snedden 
We got Romney, Akugo, Marquez, Miller, Akechi in midfield. Bessler has come in because of our injuries. And then up top, Ledesma, Crispum, Sonora, and Adi. So I think we've pretty much stabilized our players at the moment this is the lineup we're going to go with most days you know other than you know Beasler in there we'll, we'll figure out who else is going to go in there next to a catchy but moving a catchy down to the midfield has been a bit of a revelation you know we've got three solid guys that attacking midfield we need somebody you know to stabilize that central midfield and a catchy has done that and he throws some cool passes forward he you know he's starting to be the catalyst to our offense back here playing sort of a deep line playmaker role so that's cool all right so new england who do they got pedrahita in goal team captain uh what is this guy's name dielna Sonora. they've got their own Sonora. what's happening here justin he looks like a regen he's got the eyebrows of a regen is he a draft player Super draft this season, so he's a rookie. Okay, playing at central defense for their player who got called up to, to the USA team. Uh, Mancien, Anibaba, Caldwell, Zahibo, Rowe, Nedson, Keshwetter, and Bunbury up top. Bunbury is their leading assist man. Most assists, 10 goals, 8 assists. He's, uh, he's playing very well this season for him, so we'll see what he does. He's normally been playing at right wing. Last time we played him, he played at right wing anyway. So I don't know. All right. It's all over to you now. Have a good night, I guess. Whatever. Let's go. Tunnel Talk. Team has been heavily impacted by international call-ups. Um, we're definitely going to be weaker for it. The timing is far from ideal. Both teams are good form. Very good team. Come on. Only two come on only two questions that's all you get two questions every american sports is the same way you get two questions that's it and then the coach is going to stiff arm the reporter and walk away after two questions that's it all right so for this game we're going to go on extended highlights i'm going to show one game today because this is the important game um and I, I want to show extended highlights so we can get a better feel for the game, kind of manage the game a little bit better and see if we need to go, you know, see if we need to change anything. That's one of the things I've been missing this season is because I haven't, haven't been showing extended highlights, it's been hard to tell what adjustments to make. So I've been sort of floundering and guessing at adjustments. Maybe we can see something different. Now, our assistant coach says we should try more long balls. There's Adi. Now, we do have Adi in the game, but we have him playing pressing forward instead of target man because he can play that a little bit. Nadsen tries to get it long, but there's Marquez. Dropping it back to Snedden. Snedden, okay. Look at that. It's fine. He's fine. It's all fine. He's going to boot it forward to Adi. Um... In transition, short kicks. I mean, I don't want him. I don't want him booting it downfield like that. But I don't want him rolling it out either. So we'll try short kicks. We are in the white, by the way. If you didn't realize that, here's Bunbury on the run, Bury. Snedden. I mean, that looked like a pretty stoppable shot, but. Mm -hmm. It's not. Uh, it's not. What we wanted. We didn't want wide open shots against Snedden. Marquez wins the header, but uh, our right winger wasn't looking there. There's Bunbury just sort of right past him. All right, we're down a goal. We're supposed to be like keeping possession. For some reason it's not happening. Romney. Bangs one downfield. Nobody there. Desma tries to win the header. Um, you, you, you ran right by the ball, homie. Like, tackling. What is this? Why is this up here? Why won't this go away? Crispum. Out wide to Sonora. 
Sonura down the right-hand side. He's got some space past one man wide open. Back post Ledesma. Get in there. Come on. Follow it up. Got to follow your shots, man. We do get a throw in out of it, but nothing really happens. Kugo's anxious. Crispum is anxious. Nadsen is injured for New England. That's good news, I guess. Senora's got his first yellow of the season. Oh, that's for them. I was like, how could anybody on our team have only one yellow card? But that was their Senora. They're getting frustrated. Shouts. Let's demand more. Let's go. Demand more. There we go. Everybody's focused. Here's Nadsen. Nadsen injured. He sends it in. Bunbury. Oh, look at Snedden. Look at that stop. I mean, it went right into his chest, but still. See what Snedden's looking at. He's looking. There he goes. Plays it to Akugo. Back to Snedden, and he's going to boot it. Crispum heads it on. Okay. Akugo. Let's go. Let's go. Let's build up the attack. Catchy. Ledesma's going to bang it downfield. Adi on the run. He's on the run. Oh, he shanked that one. He shanked that one for sure. It went right off the side of his foot. Marquez has been error prone. 6.3. Might have to do our little maneuver where we put Romney down in central defense. Akugo's furious. He could be furious with Marquez. Going back and forth between frustrated and furious. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. 34 minutes. We got six shots, three on target. 57%. We're starting to control the ball a little bit more. Here we go. A catchy out wide to Romney. That was a very strange pass. But look at Romney fighting for the ball with tooth and claw. Back post. Senora can't get it past the keeper. Great play by Romney. He tackled the one guy, then got up, tackled the other guy. Crazy man. Desmond. Back post. Marquez. Oh, Senora killed Akugo. Ketchy's going to gather it in, though. I'm going to try to reset the offense a little bit. Miller pauses with it. To Marquez out wide, Sonora, Beasler forward, great through ball to Sonora, gets it across to nobody. That was not a good cross. Good thought, good run, but bad cross. Interesting header there, terrible turnover, Marquez. 39 minutes, I don't want to take Marquez out. I'm going to take him out at half. Risky tackle, he just Destroys Bunbury's ankles, but that's okay. I guess Sonura palms it ahead. We're supposed to be short passing. What's going on here? Nadson gets behind a Kugo. This game is like so close. We're so close to winning or tying this game. It's just they're getting shots on our. On our two-star keeper, who's got 49% match sharpness. And he just can't stop the shots. Catchy. Let's see if we can get one before half, boys. This would be good. We got some guys wide open. That was a terrible attempt. Senora, come on, buddy. Come on, Senora. That should have been a goal. Absolute should have been a goal with the goalkeeper making that dive. Here's Ledesma. Gets tackled. Nansen bombing it ahead. Bunbury on the run again. Oh, off the post. That was lucky. Our keeper wasn't going to stop that. <laughs> he didn't stop it. Catchwetter. Good steal by Crispin. Bad turnover by Crispin. Zahibo. Row centers. Oh, there's a stop by Snedden. 
Way to go, young man. Way to go. A lot of action. The end of the half. Really could have used a goal. Eighth yellow card of the season for Miller. Marquez on a 6.1. So we're going to make our defensive change. Actually, we've got Glad. Here's a catchy. Come on. We need this. Dang it. We could have really used that. Adi out wide to Crispin forward to Ledesma. Across. What is happening? Beasler. Come on. You can score. We've been so close to scoring. New England has made so many foul ups on the back line. We should have at least two goals. Okay. Okay, okay. So, because we don't have any reserve goalkeepers currently, we do have Justin Glad on the bench. So, we'll bring him in for Marquez. And then we can keep Romney at left back, even though he's not playing particularly well either. Beasler's playing okay. Again, it's Adi not playing well. Wish I could yell directly into his ear and say, score a goal, knucklehead. Okay, dressing room. Let's go. Pep talk. Let's be assertive. Expect to see much better half. Let's go. We're getting the chances. We're getting the opportunities, so that's good. We're just not uh, not paying off on those opportunities. Romney, nice header down to a catch. There we go. Nadson's still injured. They didn't take him out because he's on an 8.2 rating with a goal. Can't blame him. They got a couple of yellows. We got a couple of yellows. Um, their ratings overall are, you know, way better than ours, actually. Now that I'm looking at it, I was like looking. We got a couple of 6.3s and 6.4s out there. Mm, here we go. Catchy. We need a special teams goal. Let's go. Senora back out to a catchy. Into Crispin. Crispin back to Senora. Deflected goal. About time we got a little luck. We've had some luck going the other way. 2 1. I mean, that's not terrible. 52 minutes down. We got plenty of time. As long as we can, you know, hold them defensively. Look at that. Look at that. He aimed that. It's like, uh, you know, trick shot. I'm going to bounce it off this guy's leg. Now they're getting a corner from the near side row. Odesma boots it out, but Keshwetter brings it in back out to row. Row gets challenged, but he retains possession. There, Sonora has it. Zahibo. They're messing around with it. Keshwetter out wide to McEachern. Or Mc... I don't even know. Mancien? Whatever. Be Bez Beasler. Uh, and there's... Oh, the shot goes wide. But they're going to get a corner out of it. I just I just assumed that was going to be a goal. There's some good, uh, good defense there. Rowe, far side for New England, sends it in. Missed the header, but there was nobody there for New England. So that was good. Let's challenge this boy. Romney. Okay, thank you for not getting red carded. But... He did stop the highlight. Miller's been booked. Okay, we'll tell him to ease off tackles. Beasler, Beasler can't get through the traffic with the shot. Oof. Kugo still furious on the back line. Keshwetter is at a 6.0 rating. Here's a catch A. Off the wall. Come on, we need a free kick goal. Something. Their defense is pretty solid somehow. Even though they make a lot of mistakes, they they get in the way, I guess. Here's Ledesma. Bunbury's sitting there on the corner. That's a good place for him. Crispum back to a catch. 
Tries a long shot, no good. 62 minutes down, getting a lot more highlights than usual. Oh, yeah, because we're on extended highlights, that would make sense. Here we go, Romney, throw in. And Baba wins it, but Glad is there at midfield. We're going to restart the offense. They're putting on a little bit more pressure. Cross field to Senora, forward to Crispum. Crispum out wide. Miller on the overlap, sends one back post. Nobody there, but a catchy grabs it. Oof, catchy, tricky pass out to Romney. Back to a catchy, back to Romney. He's open, two men on him now. Nope, drops it back to a catchy. Crispum. Um, team instructions, we are working the ball in the box. Let's stop that. Here we go, Ledesma sends one in. Adi with the header. That was our new play there. Um, speaking of Adi, I'm going to put him back at target man now that we're going to send in some crosses his way. Let's see if we can target Adi. Keshwetter, they finally took him off. Ratings have come up some. Glad is playing better in defense than anybody else. Miller's got that yellow card. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Adi's still sitting there at a 6.2. There's not much we can do. We could bring in Michael Berrios at striker. But I don't know about that. 73 minutes. Here's Snedden. Boot it downfield for Adi. He double covered there. Can't win it. But Kugo gets it forward. Bunbury, he's got New Nedson. Nice tackle, but it goes straight to Rose. Snedden with a stop. Coming up big. Keeping us in the game here. Two to one. Come on, boys. We need something here. 77 minutes. Let's do a shout. Show some passion out there. Fired up. Romney, the throw in. Crispum heads it on. New England recovers. They bomb it downfield to Bunbury. We got three defenders back. It should be okay. But all three of them go charging towards Bunbury. What was that? What was that? You don't need three players to go after one guy. Look at this. Look, what's 31 doing? 31, what are you doing? I mean, like you're supposed to be our right back? Yeah. Is that Miller? Yeah, Miller. Eric Miller, you're 26 years old. Um, yeah, your decision making isn't so good. Your positioning is decent, 14. Right, we're on, um, we're on be more disciplined, so you should stay in your position. I don't know, here's Ledesma. 3-1, 84 minutes. I mean, that was basically it. I don't think we're going to come back, but Beasler forward. Senora going to get a corner out of it. Any sub we should make. I'm going to move Romney down. Akugo is just out there. I don't know what he's doing. He's yelling at everybody. So we're going to bring in Nuhu. Catchy. Let's go. Let's get one back. Adi with the header. Oof, good stop. Good stop. Adi doesn't run for it. It's not his job. Catchy and Ledesma both look exhausted. As well they should. Crispum. Nuhu Ledesma. 
Desma around two men. Gets it stolen. Penalty. Uh, we're doing a review of some sort. What, what's up? I don't know. Um, what can we do here? Um, I mean, I guess we can put Senora on the left, bring in Barrios on the right. That's that our third sub get Ledesma out of there before he gets injured or whatever one minute two minutes here we go two minutes to go bro throw in for New England uh, Beasler almost gets a yellow card there or a red card Zahibo sends it downfield Bunbury on the run again oh good stop by Snedden you know for giving up three goals, Snedden did okay. It, you know, better than I thought he was going to do. Crispin to Berrios. Berrios. Out wide to Miller. Going to get one back. Oof, no, that shot. It's just very uh, disappointing that, that we had this international call up now. And then why do we have international break, like, in the playoffs? What are they doing in international break in the, during the playoffs? We just had, I don't know. I don't know why we didn't have international break now. But anyway, I'm not happy with your performance out there. That was an important game, and we couldn't come through. So there we go. That will probably relegate us to the wild card game. Um, that puts them now four, five points up with two games to go. So if we win our last two and they lose their last two, it's a possibility. We could, well, it's, it's we would. <laughs> we would definitely get second place, but that's a long shot. So we'll come back for the final game of the year and see if there's anything on the line. If not, we'll use it as a way to look ahead to the playoffs. So uh, there's only like two games left. So we'll play one game off camera, and then we'll play the final game on camera and see what happens. So until then, until next time, we'll see you later. <laughs>